Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Christians Crosses for Friday, April 5th, 2024, Friday in the Octave of Easter. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal Mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race. So dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John, chapter 21, verses 1 through 14. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathanael from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection It's so interesting to me that in today's Gospel we go back to the beginning or to what's comfortable when we fail. The disciples had spent three transformative years with Jesus. They watched him perform miracles, and they themselves had performed miracles. They learned the Master's teachings and watched him transform countless lives. Then they watched it all fall apart. They saw him be crucified, died, and then buried, and then be raised from the dead. This story takes place after they had already seen and spoken with him twice, and yet, where are they now? They're not ready to go back out and preach the good news that Jesus is alive. They're back to fishing, back to what's comfortable. And they're failing miserably at it, just like the day when they met Jesus. It's against this backdrop of failure that Jesus appears, standing on the shore, yet unrecognized by his friends at first. He yells to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? In other words, so how's this working out for you? And they answer honestly, not so well. So Jesus guides them to cast the net on the right side of the boat. And when they follow his instructions... Their trust results in an overwhelming catch, just like it had three years earlier when he did it the first time. No matter how far we travel in life, or what we've seen or done, or how much pain or sin we give into, the basics do not change. 
If we follow Christ's instructions, we will not fail. St. Augustine once said, Trust the past to God's mercy, the present to God's love, and the future to God's providence. I think this quote beautifully encapsulates the disciples' situation and ours. They had to trust their past denials and their failures to God's mercy, embodying this trust by following the instructions of the risen Lord. They witnessed the present blessings of God's love in the miraculous catch of the fish, and they're called to lean into the future with the assurance of God's providence. As the disciples finally recognize Jesus, they rush to meet him, bringing their catch. Jesus then invites them, come have breakfast. In this simple invitation, we see a powerful moment of communion and reconciliation. Jesus is not only providing for their physical needs, but he's also inviting them back into the fold, back into fellowship with him, healing the wounds of their past denials and their failures. This story is all about the nature of discipleship. Jesus meets us in our everyday lives, often in the midst of our failures and our disappointments. He invites us to cast our nets once more, promising his presence and guidance. Remembering, though, that even though the miraculous catch is a testament to what can be achieved when we listen to his voice and act on his word, the disciples did not go back to being fishermen. This was the first of several moments that would lead the disciples towards understanding that their real work as evangelists was just beginning. Jesus' invitation to dine with him is an invitation to intimacy and communion with him. Every time we celebrate the Eucharist, it's a reminder of this invitation where Jesus meets us, feeds us, and then sends us out renewed for mission. It's a moment where he calls us to bring our own fish, our talents, our efforts, and even our failures to contribute to the feast of the kingdom. And so today, let's pray and trust the past to God's mercy, the present to God's love, and the future to God's providence. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.